in the next five to ten minutes not only are you gonna know exactly how to get ungated in the toy category on Amazon but I'm gonna show you how to get this three hundred dollar Star Wars set for 99 bucks free shipping in the process let's get into it Now right off the bat there's a few things you gotta know. In order to be considered a valid invoice from Amazon by Amazon standards, there's a few key things you need to have on your invoice. And we're gonna talk about that as well right now. Invoices for one must be dated within the last 180 days or six months. So at Jan so as of this filming, uh, you would have to have an invoice that was dated January 25th, 2020 or sooner. So anywhere between January 25th and now. Number two, the invoice must have your name or your business name on them somewhere. You have to have the same name on the invoice that you have on your Amazon account whether that be your name as a personal seller, your business as an LLC or a corporation, it's gotta be the same, guys. Number three, invoices must have contact information for your business. And again, the physical address, the phone number, whatnot, on the invoice must be the same as it is on Amazon. So the shipping address or the contact information address that you have on your Amazon Seller Central account must be the same that you have on the invoice. Number four, invoices must have the names of the products you purchased. If you purchase products, if they're on the invoice, the actual name of the product must be on there. Now, the price doesn't have to be on there. You can omit the price, you can blur the price, but in reality, Amazon doesn't care what you paid for that product. Number five, is that invoice must have document issuer's name, physical address, or phone number. So this is really um, kind of what we covered in number two and three, how your information must be on there, the distributor's information, or manufacturer, depending on what way you go, their information must also be on the invoice. So for Amazon to count it, a legitimate invoice, you must have your name, your address, as they appear on your Seller Central account, you must have the name of the products, you must have the distributor or manufacturer's name and physical address or phone number on that document as well. Okay, now that we're good there, let's jump into how we're going to do this. So, now this is where we start. You saw that we started here, and we are going to get to this. But first, we're just going to go to Amazon right here. Now, the link is going to be in the description below, but a verifiable source to get ungated in toys is this guy right here, Entertainment Earth. Now you see they have a lot of different options, and yes, you can get ungated in any of these. Jurassic Park, Funko Pop, Lego, uh, Star Wars. Matter of fact, let's go into Star Wars. Okay. Now let's go ahead and look at, let's do this. So I said I was going to do that one. So let's just type in Star Wars Black Series. Okay, and then we're going to filter it by price. And we are going to look for, actually let's just do one real quick. Uh, let's see, we can, get, uh, we can get this guy for 11 bucks. Now what you want to do is, yes, you can go 10 of these, add to cart, check out, and you're done. But the mistake that some people make when doing this is you need to cross-reference and make sure that it is in the toy category. Now of course we know this action figure is going to be a toy, but I'm going to show you in a minute. So right here, toys and games. Okay. In order to get ungated in toys and games, you gotta have an invoice for something that's in the toys and games category. Let's say I wanted to go cheap though. Let's say I go to Funko, they're known for toys, and this is an example that actually happened to someone. Okay, so I'm literally gonna show you this. They were like, okay, Doctor Who, uh, Funko Pop, yeah, cool. I'm gonna do that. They ordered like 20 of them. Now, 60 bucks ain't bad to lose, but it's really a big time waster. 
So what you gotta do is you have to make sure, can anyone guess what this is? It's not a toy. Let's see here. I'm type that in. Okay, we're gonna see them. Guess what they come up as, guys? Grocery and gourmet. Okay, you need to make sure that what you order is in the toy category. There are some other things that will trip you up as well. Um, let me see here. Let me go back to Star Wars because that was a big... Let me actually just do this. Some people just click on Star Wars and there's all these little magnets here. They're like, oh look. Okay. Now chances are this is going to pop up in home goods, home decor. This is not going to pop up in toys. Granted, there's no money to be made here. Okay, five ninety nine, buck twenty three. Okay, kitchen and dining, kitchen and dining. Okay, all these guys are going to be in kitchen and dining. So you want to make sure that you get something that is in the toy category. You also want to make sure that they're in stock. If you want to get your invoice, you got to get your order, which means you don't want to wait. Say something's coming out in uh, October, you don't want to order something now and wait till October to get it. So when you're going through here, this right here, pre-order add to cart, make sure you don't see that, okay? So let's go ahead and just look for something that's going to be good to sell, okay? All of these guys here, now I did look at these guys a while back, none of these guys actually have a category, at least last time I checked, this was about a month ago, but let's see. Okay, you see there's packs of them, rank not found. Let's try this here. Um, Thor, Ragnar, let's try, actually, let's just try this here. Pin, mate, wooden figure. Let's try and reverse source here, guys. One FBA seller, rank not found. So let's actually go into it. Okay, so you see here, let's see if we can Venom, Venom, Pinmate. Okay, Agent Venom, Pinmate, Spider-Man Venom. So that exact one is not on there. Let's see here. Spider-Man, Venom, Pinmate. All right, Captain America, Civil War, Spider-Man Venom. And I don't even think that's the same one. No. Agent Venom Pinmate. There we go, Agent Venom. So $9 on Amazon, two ninety two dollars here. You may make a few cents, so it may be free in this case, because you'll at least get that two ninety two dollars back on $9. Guarantee this thing's only a couple ounces. Um, but what we want to do, so we want to make sure, see even here you see Manufacturer, look at that, Manufacturer, Entertainment Earth. There you go guys, that's these people. So we don't see a category here. Okay, but we do see rank not found, toys and games. <clears throat> Let's see here. That's a set, which is going to be probably harder to find. We just want to find one that has a rank. Just want to find one that has a rank. Toys and games, here we go. Uh, let's try this guy. see if we can find him. I want to see if we can literally find an exact thing, no, that we can get you guys ungated in right now. So let's skip past all the wooden figures. Let's actually find, let's just do this. Action figure. Sort by price. And of course we're still getting the pin mates. So here we go, Playmobil. Three forty nine, so it'd be thirty four dollars and ninety cents to get this shipped to you. There it is. Let's see if we have a rank. 
Okay, so this, this high rank doesn't matter. The fact that it has a rank in toys and games is what we care about. So this guy right here, 299 plus 350 shipping. There's no FBA sellers on it. Let's see if we can see. There haven't been any FBA sellers on it for a long time. When it was, it was 499. So you're probably actually going to uh, lose about a dollar. So in reality, when you get your money back, it's going to cost you about a dollar per unit. So if you get 10 of those guys, it's going to be 34.90 and then you're going to get about 24.90 back. So this right here, this guy right here, well, restocking soon. So let's see here. Let's not get a restocking soon cuz we actually want So this guy's in stock here. Let's take that. And as long as he has a rank, we're good, which he probably will. Uh or he's not even going to be on here. <laughs> All right. Keep on moving. Restocking, that guy's not going to be it. Restocking, in stock. Do Playmobil, is that pediatrician? No. Fashion designer. Nope. Let's see here. Let's go... Yeah, this guy looks good. Coming in August. That guy does not. That's creepy. So, are these just like fingerlings? So, they're fingerlings without being the fingerling brand? It's interesting. Okay, here we go. I got a feeling on this one. Penny Dreadful. Convention exclusive. So, at five bucks, there might actually be some money to be made here, too. And I'm not even going to edit it out. Convention exclusive, Penny Dreadful. Let's see here. Penny Dreadful, Dorian Gray. Dorian Gray. <clears throat> Alright, and did he have a rank? I didn't see that there. Did he have a rank? Four left in stock, prime? Probably. No, of course he doesn't. Alrighty, let's keep on moving. Here we go. Let's actually take... This is going to be interesting here. We're going to have to... I bet we're going to have to do this. It's all in the search. That's probably not... Yep, so let's do this. Let's take out this three, three quarter inch. There we go. Let's see. Hooded, black glove. Let's look at the picture here. Um... Uh, ah. Uh. Okay, so he comes in that black box there. Let's make sure this is the same one we're looking at. Uh, yep, looks to be so. Yep, black box. All right, here you go, guys. So fourteen ninety nine. This guy is selling for, and he's going to cost you five dollars and twenty one cents here. And I believe it's if you order eighty dollars or more, you get free shipping. So there you go. Here's ungated and toys. Five dollars a unit, and you're even going to make a profit. You're probably going to make about three, probably about three and a half dollars profit. So for every five twenty-one you spend, you're going to get like eight seventy-one back. So there is an ungated in toys and a profit on your dollar. If you guys like this video, leave a comment below, show some love, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, do what you do. Have an amazing day, guys. Keep growing, keep expanding, and all I want to do is keep putting good content out to help you guys do just that.